Darden restaurants higher today on an upgrade to buy from hold at Stiefel. Shares are still lower by about 2% over the past week after the Olive Garden parent company announced in its earnings release, longtime CEO Gene Lee will step down next year. But in that same report, Darden beat on the top and bottom lines and posted better than expected comps. Stiefel attributes the drop in shares to Lee's retirement, but says it's confident in his successor, who's currently Darden's CFO, that he can keep the company on a similar growth path. Marianne, so what do you think? Lots of breadsticks in 2022 <laughs> or no? How's this going to work out for him? Well, no breadsticks for me, but Gene Lee has a great track record at Darden, and prior to that, a great pedigree at Rare Hospitality, which Darden acquired. So um, as it's been for decades, we believe Darden has a very extensive bre uh, bench of talent, and Gene's absence starting next May, it's not like it's tomorrow or anything, that does not undermine our positive outlook for the company. Um, and look to today's consumer confidence report from the conference board. It shows how rising employment is increasing people's appetite for eating away from home in the coming year. I mean, that's my read through. Um, but we believe that Darden will continue to grow, continue to take market share. Uh, the stock should increase in line with earnings per share growth, which looks to be in the 22 percent area for calendar 22. Bob, a lot of Darden, there's a lot of carbs in there. I mean, is that OK? I don't know. <laughs> like sustainability, we're generally talking about the planet, not individually our waistlines. Um, but how is that trending with investors treating restaurant names like that? It's trending really badly with me. I can tell you uh, my <laughs> carb intake has gone up. So bad question to ask me. Um, look, how'd you like to do project Darden's revenues for the next three to six months? It depends on where you are on, on Omicron. I mean, if you believe that people are going to power through this and still go out, then this company is very well positioned. Darden has been growing their earnings along with their revenues for years. They trade at a very reasonable multiple. It's about 17 times 2022 numbers. That's excellent. That's right in the middle where it's been for years. They're not overpriced. They're very fairly valued. Some would argue, uh, as they're here, they are here, uh, that it's actually uh, undervalued. So on a valuation basis, I don't have any problems at all. The problem I have is, how, what side of the debate on Omicron are you on? If you're pessimistic, you're going to think there's going to be an awful lot of cancellations in the next mm. few months. That's the problem I have, not well, on valuation. Well, then, Charles, do you have to look closely at their omnichannel strategy and see whether they can thrive despite that? Do you bet on Americans eating the way we've always tended to? Look, this is just this is a crowded trade. If you look at Wall Street, uh, they have one of the most lopsided buy ratings of any restaurant, uh, you, if you have, say, a buy is a one, a hold is a two, and a sell is a three, this has an average rating of 1.3, which means overwhelming buy side from um, uh, recommendations from the street. It's trading at 14 times EV to EBITDA. So I, I unfortunately disagree. I think this is an expensive stock that everybody loves, and they're going to suffer from higher wages. Uh, uh, labor costs are a big part of their cost structure, and it's going to be a tough year from a margin point of view. So I think this is at best a hold. Oh, sounds like you're saying investors would get indigestion from this bottomless buy rating. All right.